Hello boys and girls, my name's Tom and this is Safe House. It's been a week of surprises and disappointments in the world of entertainment news, what with last minute casting changes, production announcements and shitty video game optimization. And to continue the theme of disappointment, this will be the third episode of Safe House I've released this week. I'm so sorry. Here's what we'll be talking about on today's episode. 19 year old British actor Tom Holland is no stranger to costume dramas, but he'll be stepping into a very different type of costume as he's cast as the Marvel Cinematic Universe's new Spider-Man. As production begins on Simon Pegg and Justin Lin's new Star Trek movie, the third since 2009's reboot, it's revealed the stars have already signed on for a fourth instalment. The Uncharted movie hits setbacks once again as the director quits and the script goes in for rewrites. Four years since its announcement, have we given up on ever seeing this film? The new Batman game, Arkham Knight, was released last week and performed so badly on PC that the publishers have ceased sales and recalled it to continue development. Final Fantasy XIV expansion Heavensward has been released, much to the joy of JRPG fans everywhere. One such fan, being Picard, is absolutely chuffed with it and wants to tell me all about it. And joining me today to talk about these things, I have my good friend and co-host James Pickard. Hello. And assistant agent at CKP Comedy, Helena Bumpus. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's always a pleasure. <laughs> uh, so, how is everyone, first off? Ruined. Ruined. It's Went been to a theme park and yeah. killed me. Yeah, it'll do that. It's a long, hard day. Yeah. Also, it's really warm. Just had a very sweaty car journey yeah. here. Yes. Yeah. So muggy. Jeans was not the No, good no. shorts, here. man. Always shorts. <laughs> Uh, right, so first thing on the agenda, uh, Spider-Man. We have a Spider-Man. It wasn't the kid from Ender's Game. Mm. After all that, we were all going, oh, it's the kid from Ender's Game. It's and they've, the Butterfield. They've swerved us at the last minute, and it's the kid from Wolf Hall. They always do that, though. Mm. They always like to surprise you. Yeah, they sort of go, oh, it's going to be this guy. It's not like that. So, they surprise yeah. me with a guy I don't know who they are. What, Tom Holland? No. Um, he's, I mean, he's the, the kid with the funny hat in Wolf Hall. Yeah, but there was they, they all have funny hats, but he was the main kid with the funny hat yeah. in Wolf Hall. He was and in The Impossible, wasn't he? He was in The Impossible, the one yeah. about oh, the tsunami. Yeah, what's the, the kid, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's him, and he's, he's yeah, only 19. 19 everyone years keeps old. saying, oh, they've cast an unknown, they've cast an unknown, but he's not really. He I mean, has not, some stuff. He's, he's yeah. not like There's he's come out of him of, with like Robert De Niro. Like, yeah, he's, the, he's done all right for himself. Yeah. But yeah, so he's he's going to be the new Spider-Man. He's turning up in Civil War first. Yes. Uh, we don't know which side he will fall on because they haven't really built up enough to mirror the comic book storyline in which he starts off on Iron Man's side and defects. But who knows, maybe they can fit that into a two-hour film. <laughs> um, three-hour film. Three-hour film. <laughs> yeah, let's be honest, it's a Marvel movie. Mm. Um, and will that be the third? That will be the third Captain America. Uh, and then that will start leading up towards the Avengers 3 part 1. So many, there's going to be some one of six. infinite Marvel <laughs> movies now. But um, yeah, so I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it. They're going back to a proper, I mean, he's 19, this kid, so he's going to be young Spider Man. Teenage Spider Man, which is sort of what Spider Man should be. Do you know so. anything else yeah. about the people surrounding him? Is there like Aunt May, Uncle Ben? No, I don't know. Although they have, I mean, one of the things I was saying, with, that I said a few episodes ago, they've cast Martin Freeman. Oh yeah. But I, I, have I, they? Yeah, like yeah. Martin Freeman's going to be in Captain America three, and oh, my yeah. my instant reaction was, what if he's Uncle Ben? <laughs> but that would be such a waste of Martin Freeman because he would appear in a flashback scene and then instantly be killed <laughs> by Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> um, Star Trek is another thing which is close to my heart. Uh, they have started shooting on the new Star Trek film that's following up Into Darkness. Um, Just the one Simon Pegg. The one it? Simon Pegg wrote, yeah, he's because written he's it. written it. Because um, it was what's his face, R Roberto Orki, who wrote the first two. Who is a guy who used to write Lost, and uh, I think he did some X Files stuff back in the day. Okay. Mm. And yeah, and he wrote uh, the 2009 one and Into Darkness, and he was doing this one. And then he went, fuck it, I'm out, and he left. 
And so Simon Pegg said, oh, I've cracked it. So Simon Pegg has written a Star Trek film. Uh, it's being directed by Justin Lin, who is the guy who did the Fast and Furious, the recent Fast and Furious movies, the good ones. Uh-huh. So <laughs> that's generally how to, you can you can split Fast and Furious right down the middle, the good ones and the old ones. When they stop being boring car movies. Yeah, when they were like, what if we just made heist, heist movies films. that happened With to be about rock. cars? <laughs> yeah, just put the rock in anything and it makes it good. Um, but so they've started production on that. Uh, they have already contracted Chris Pine and Zach Quinto, at least, to come back for Star Trek Four. So we're getting loads of Star Trek, which is a bold choice considering Into Darkness didn't actually perform. I mean, I liked it, but it didn't perform very well. Did and it they, not? No. I like, everyone I spoke to I, really liked I it. I really liked it, um, but it didn't perform very well box office wise. And they thought, well, you know, we'll we'll have a crack at it and try and maybe it's the the curse of Star Trek movies that every other one isn't that great. <laughs> so they thought we'll try again. We'll do do a third one of these reboots, and, um, and then we'll do a crap one again. And then we'll do another crap <laughs> one. But you know, I'll be interested to um, see Simon Pegg writing a Star Trek film. Yeah. See what he's Did you done. see? It was a while ago now, but he wrote a thing. He had a massive rant, didn't he? Yeah. On the Guardian or something like that. Mm. And it was he was saying, oh, we're all too interested in comic book movies and. Yeah. We're not growing up anymore. We've ruined cinema. Yeah. And he said, he's like, I am responsible for this primarily because space <laughs> is like effectively spaced is how we all live our lives. Um, which, have you ever watched Spaced? I have Fantastic haven't. TV show. Very so good. good. Early, really? like Simon Pegg, early Simon Pegg, Nick Frost. Really? Um, yeah. Simon Pegg, mm. he had a few rants. He's, he's a good he I was, I was on the tube to work and yeah. I, like, I like my metro, my morning metro. Don't we all? <laughs> Don't we all? Um, and he was going on about being a comic actor and he was saying, oh, I'm so serious Yeah, now. he just wants to be <laughs> taken seriously. I haven't seriously. had the chance to be a serious actor. Mm. I mean, it's, it's hard. You do get pigeonholed. Mm. But, I mean... I'm not going to complain if I'm in his position. Really. Yeah, I was going to say, I was like, oh no, I'm making all these millions of dollars a year. What a shame. <laughs> exactly, I'm being Sorry. appreciated for something I'm yeah. really good at. That's You've got the Cornetto trilogy, you're yeah. writing Star Trek. Yeah, you're doing all right, mate. I think he's actually, he is writing a Star Trek film. Yeah. And he's like, oh, no. Apparently he's also, um, he, he made a reference that when they were filming uh, episode seven, because obviously he's mates with JJ, who mm. JJ Abrams, who did the first mm-hmm. two reboot Star Treks. Um, Simon Pegg is one of the Stormtroopers. Like he's just a bloke in a Stormtrooper. He was an and extra. Daniel Craig. As Daniel well. Craig's an extra in Star Wars Seven. <laughs> I love that. It's just all these actors who are like, I know I'm not going to get cast as an important role, <laughs> but I really want to say I was part of the Star Wars saga. So they just they're happy to just put on a Stormtrooper outfit and just I think walk that's about great. in the background. It's so cool. Uncharted. Not segue into that. Uncharted. <laughs> um, there's a segue for you. So, uh, Uncharted movie. They announced that in 2011-ish. Really recently. Yeah, yeah 2011. They were like, we're gonna make an Uncharted movie based on the popular video game series. And over the years, there's been all sorts of things. And I think Mark Wahlberg was recently the person they were looking at to play Nathan Drake. Mm. And once again, it's all fallen apart and the director has walked out and they're going to rewrite the script it is just a bit of a mess yeah it's going to end up in development hell forever maybe we should get Yuva Bol to do it because he oh, no. <laughs> I mean he loves a good video game movie he loves ruining although, a although game recently movie. he he did his little rant he posted a, he did that he did funny. a kickstarter to get a film funded and everyone went oh you're shit <laughs> like he is renowned for being the worst director of all time like he is he is worse than um uh, what's Edward. Ed, Edward. Um, How many Razzies has he won? Oh, probably all of them. <laughs> He's just appalling. He's easily the worst director of all time. And he put out this Kickstarter and everyone went, no, you're all right. And so he posted a video that was just like, fuck you, I'm quitting. I'm never going to make another movie again. And everyone was like, okay, no shame. <laughs> the result. And now Kickstarter failed too. And uh, basically my message is, fuck yourself. So yeah, so Uncharted movie's not likely to happen because... No, but they for a while they had another bowl, Mark Bowl, right. who wrote The Hurt Locker. Okay. Writing on Which is script. notably better than yeah. Bowl's films. <laughs> Which could have been good. But mm. then he left. And now... No, no one's... Everyone wanted Nathan Fillion to be... Nathan everyone Drake wants Nathan Fillion. But, I mean, I, I hate They're to say the same it. character. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, Nathan Drake is based very heavily on the actor Nathan Fillion. Mm. But 
he's based on Nathan Fillion from 1998 or something. Yeah. <laughs> and Nathan Fillion, don't get me wrong, he's still one of the greatest greatest men in Hollywood, but <laughs> yeah, the ravages of time come to us all. Um, video games, things that are not going well. These are themes. <laughs> Arkham Knight falls into both these categories. Um, Batman Arkham Knight was released recently. Uh, you will recall in last week's episode I was all excited because I was building a new PC in order to play the new Arkham Knight. Well, fuck me, because I can't do that now. <laughs> because apparently it was so bad when it was launched, it was so unplayably buggy, uh, that Rocksteady have recalled it. So you can't buy it on PC now. Um, so what exactly was so bad? Uh, it just didn't work. Yeah, just the really? game just didn't work. Well, it's just... Basically, they've built it on a console. They've built it on, I don't know whether they, probably on PS4, if yeah. I'm honest. They probably built it on a PS4 and then did the Xbox One version because they're very similar. Mm -hmm. And they've ported it so it runs on a PC and it hasn't worked. So people have. Did no tried... one check? <laughs> no, they've just, it? They've oh, just it'd gone. Be just, yeah, it'll be right. They shipped <laughs> it out to a different company. Just... Oh, that's never a good sign. Not, Not really. always good. Yeah, Depends on what it is. Yeah. Um, and then they didn't send PC review code out. So people got super suspicious about that as well. Yeah. Yeah, so they've recalled it. Basically, they've gone, we're just going to work on it till it's finished, and they're going to release it at some point. Mm. So it's good. So I was hoping to have a game that would tide me over until Fallout, but it looks like that's not the case. So. I had the same heartbreak as you at Christmas. Yeah. I got The Sims 4. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and they haven't developed a Mac version. The bastards. I have a Mac. Yeah. <laughs> I hate when they I do that. I was devastated. It's like, it's like, come on, a lot of people use Macs. Just do a Mac port. I know. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. The website has read the same three theme yeah. for eight months. No, is it like Mac In port? development. <laughs> yeah, fuck off. Yeah. In development, like, it's written on a I'm whiteboard. <laughs> whiteboard in EA's office somewhere. One like, to-do list. <laughs> port to Mac. Yeah, it's like, eh. Early lunch. Yeah, I'll do it later. <laughs> they lost a devoted customer because I yeah. bloody love The Sims. Fucked it. You yeah. fucked it, EA. You fucked it. Um, games that are out that are good, supposedly, according to James Pickard. Me. Uh, Final Fantasy Heaven's Ward. Heaven's Wood. Heaven's Wood. <laughs> Heaven. It, it, I thought it was Heaven's Sword for a long Everyone time. Everyone thought it was Heaven's Sword. Because that, that sounds Heaven's metal. Sword. Heaven's Sword. And then it's Heaven's Ward. As in the direction of Heaven. Yes. Like one would go forward, you go Heaven's Ward. <laughs> it's not a very good name. It probably sounds better in Japanese. In Japanese, it probably sounds fantastic. That's what happens when Japanese mm. people make games. How is it? It's pretty good. Good. Is it heavenly? Heaven. Pretty heavenly. Does it lead Woodly. you to he heaven's wall? Is that where? I hope that's where they were going with it. <laughs> well, you go into the sky, so I guess it <laughs> makes, us, makes some that's sense. Good. Oh, is it like a little flying Bioshock Three city? No. No. Well, sort or are of. You just Diablo. You can fly choppers now. Or flying chop that's bullshit, they're flightless birds. No, they've always been flying. Well, no. If you, if you breed them correctly, I'll oh, not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't, don't give me that. Um, yeah, I in, raced in, them on the ground. Yeah, but you could get a one black of the chocobo games. that flies. I, I never got And that. then you could get a green one which went over water. Was it in Final Fantasy X? Seven. Because if not, then I did there not. There were 10, there was only the, the yellow one. And if you super bred them all, you got a gold one which could do anything. What? And fly to a secret island. Good. It's almost like it's part of a fantasy game. It is. Almost. <laughs> the last one, maybe. Yeah, no, really? never, never the last one. How so many are there now? There's 14. 14 oh, in wow. the main number series. But there are like sequels yeah, and there are spin offs. Sequels to individual games. So there's like 10 to. 10 to. 13 yeah. 3. Yeah. I don't know if it's rumour or myth or whatever, but apparently it was called Final Fantasy because they threw all their money into it. Yeah. And in the hopes that. You know, we either make it or break it. Yeah, and they made it. Yeah, that's it. That's Final that's what I heard. Yeah, it was their last hurrah kind mm. of thing. Hail Mary really? pass, like, will it work? And it did. <laughs> and now, however many now like fifty games later, yeah, yeah. A, couple of, a couple of decades later, and they've got You'd be laughing, all of these. You? Fourteen. I mean, this is what this is technically fourteen two for the expansion. Yeah. So they're doing all right. So we've got Helena here. You do comedy things. I do. What do you do? Pro promo Not your gaming. Thing. Not As gaming. As you can tell, my experience being The Sims. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's all you need. And and let's be honest, when I was younger. The Sims is comedy gold as it is. Just put them in a pool, take the, take the ladder out. Done. Tell us about some comedies. Um, well, we represent comedians, stand up comedians. Well, not just stand up comedians, uh, presenters and actors as well. Mm -hmm. um, so. I guess the big thing coming up at the moment is Edinburgh. 
2K15. That'd be good. Um, so we've got quite a few other acts heading up uh, there for a month, uh, really? putting on their shows. Uh, it'd be my first time in Edinburgh. Your first Edinburgh one. Yeah, um, I've never been up, so I'd love to no. do Ed Fringe one year. We should go and do a safe house coverage at Ed Fringe. <laughs> yes. Do you know what we should? A comedy special. We'll do a, yeah. a special and we'll just get a bunch of, we'll get your comedians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> safe house feet CKP comedy. True Perfect. Guy. Jobbed. Yeah. Or the other way around, depending on who's more famous. Spoilers, it's you. <laughs> um, no, people, keep a look out for Helena and her CKP comedy people. Go on our website. Go on the website. CKproductions.co.uk. Oh, I hope you got that they'll right. All like, I did. Um, <laughs> yeah, they'll all be listed on there. And yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. If yeah, looking forward to it. Nice. All right, well, that's... About it, I think. We've covered what we need to. It's been a relatively slow news week, but, you know, hopefully some more things happen in future. Um, feel free to do the liking, sharing, subscribing, the following on Twitter, the, the others. There's probably more social media things. Social I know media. Kelsey wants to make an Instagram. I don't even know how that works. It's just Twitter. Just pictures, Twitter just for photos. Yeah. We filters. don't take pictures of anything. So, except when you live tweeted that pint. Except I live tweeted a pint once. That was pretty good. Works. It was. It was. Absolutely. Pretty good pint. You can make it into a series. Yeah, just, and you can make it look blue on Instagram. You can. Oh That's yeah, you got the little filters. <laughs> and then people are like, "What's wrong with your pint?" I'm like, "I ordered it at the railway, and that's just how it looks." <laughs> oh. So, um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Feel free to check out the other videos on the channel, and uh, we'll be back next week for more entertainment news and excitement so we'll see you then bye, bye.